In this video you will learn how to make your own split screen in Filmora. Like this. Hello video editors. I'm Sally Ali and welcome to Sally Tutorials. Today's video is being made at the request of one of my viewers. He asked me, Hi Sally. Can we make our own split screen in Filmora? So yes, absolutely well and easily. Before that, if you are new here, please subscribe to the channel, and if you like this video sure to give a thumbs up. So let's get started. Click the simple color tab from the media tab. If black color is not downloaded, download it first, and then drag it to the timeline. Also download the white color and drag it to the second track of the timeline. Click on the display screen settings. And turn on the show safe zone. And move the head above and below the white color to the outer lines of the show safe zone. Then narrow the width of the image to make a strip out of it. Like this. Go to effects and click on it. Find the image mask inside effects here. Apply this effect by dragging it to the white color image. Double click on the white image and the image tab will open. Scroll down to the effects tab. Double click the rounded rectangular mask inside the image mask tab and apply it. Click OK. Copy the white color image. Add another track above. The white color image you copied. Paste it into this track. After pasting, now select this image. Move this image to the right side of the screen. Add another track above. The white color image you copied. Paste it into this track. Select the image of this track. Move the image of this track to the center of the screen. I uncheck the safe zone so you can see well. Now take a snapshot of this split screen. So you can see that we made a split screen. Now we are going to make another split screen. Delete the white color images of the above two tracks. Select the white color picture. And move the white head up and down to the inner lines of the show safe zone. And then adjust the rotation and position something like this. Copy the white color picture. And paste it into the track above. Select the picture and move the position of that picture below the first picture. Again, paste the copied picture into the track above. Select the picture. Move the position of this picture in the space on the right side to the center of both pictures. Add another track above. Paste the copied picture into the track above. Select the picture. Rotate the picture like this. And place the position of this picture in the corner on the top right side. Also take a snapshot from this split screen. So you can see we made two split screens. And of course both split screens look great. Now we are going to make the third split screen. Delete the white images of the above three tracks from the timeline. Turn on the safe zone again. 
Rotate the picture slightly like this, and keep the position of the picture in the center. Now copy this white picture. And paste it into the third track above. Move the position of this picture just below the first picture. And show half of the picture. Paste the copied picture into the track above. Select the picture, and move the position of this picture just above the first picture. And show half of the picture. Also take a snapshot of this split screen. I want to take a few more snapshots, and then I'll teach you how to use it. Keep watching. So I made a total of 6 split screens and took a snapshot of it. Now I'm going to show you one by one the pictures of all the split screens that I took snapshots of. Now I'm going to show you how to use these split screens, and how we can put videos inside these split screens. OK. Delete everything from the timeline. Drag any videos in the folder you have to the media. And drag these videos to the timeline. And then drag these videos on top of each other in separate tracks. So you can see that I have dragged three videos to the timeline. So for that I will choose the picture with three splits. So I drag the first picture to the timeline, which has three splits. Split screen is to be dragged to the top track. Set the duration of the picture. Split and delete extra parts. Keep the aspect ratio 16 to 9 widescreen. Customize the resolution and frame rate, and click OK. Uncheck the safe zone. Double click on the split screen picture on the timeline. After double clicking, open the compositing tab. Open the blending mode box inside the compositing tab. And select darken here. Now the scale and position of these three videos have to be adjusted within the splits of the pictures. Set each video in a separate split in the picture. As you can see. OK. So you can see that I set the videos inside the three splits. This way you can put videos inside all the split screens. In today's video you learn how to create a split screen of your choice, and then how to use it. So maybe today's video has helped you a lot in creating a custom split screen and then using it. Please comment and let us know how you felt about today's creative split screens. We will be very grateful to you. And thanks a lot for the friends who share their opinions with us. So if this video helps you out, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe. And as always, keep creating better video with Solid Tutorials. Bye.